his forces. You have declared that it shall not be so. You're a liar. I rebuke you. Now you speak healing across the divide. I speak to the one who must arise and be seated in the highest seat in this nation. You shall declare that Jesus Christ is King of kings and Lord of lords. Yes, you who listen to this word, for this word shall be brought to your ears and you shall know who I speak of. And your stand before God will decide and determine the future of this nation, whether you will abide by the word and the spirit that has even been spoken this night, or if you will reject it. And if you will reject it, God says, I will remove you and I shall replace you with another. If I have removed one, I shall remove another one. And if you do not listen, says the Lord, Cyril, if you do not listen, I shall remove you too. But I shall have my way in this nation. And if you will obey me, and if you will submit to my word, and if you will do even as I have spoken this night, says the Lord, I will cause you to become mighty, and I will cause you to strike the bull's eye. And you shall neither go to the left nor to the right. And so there shall be a breakthrough that shall come for this nation, the likes of which it has never ever seen before. Cyril, Cyril, and then I hear sorrow. Cyril, I'm hearing clearly the name Cyril. Then I'm hearing a second name, Sorrow. These are two names very specific for me right now. And the Spirit of the Lord says to Cyril, the Spirit of the Lord says, Cyril, did I not put my Spirit upon you in your yesterday? Did I not cause my words to burn bright inside of you in your yesterday? Cyril, where are you? Where are you, my son? It is time for you to come back to me in a new way, in a fresh way, to come back to your first love like you've never experienced me before. And if you will do this, I will give you great wisdom. If you will do this, I will cause you to prophesy. If you will do this, I will cause you to speak words, yes, words that carry the power of my spirit. Then I shall lift you up and then I shall bring exaltation to you and your house in a way that you have never experienced before. Cyril, my plans for you shall prevail. Lift up. Lift up your head. And look to me and see that I am not against you, I am for you. But you shall need my spirit. You shall need my words. You shall need my power. For you shall not be able to do what I have called you to do with your intellect, with your wisdom, with your own philosophical expressions. No, you will need the power of my spirit. And if you will hearken unto this word, and if once again you shall seek me and my kingdom with all of your heart, with all of your strength, with all of your mind. And if you will once again love me like you loved me in your yesterday, I will take you beyond the natural. I will take you beyond the physical. And I will cause the treasure that is locked up inside of you to begin to come forth. And although you would be hard pressed, you shall not be crushed. And although you might be perplexed, you shall not be in despair. And although you might be persecuted, you shall not be forsaken. And although you might be struck down, you shall not be destroyed. And surely I shall cause the manifestation of my son, the Christ to be made manifest in your mortal body. I have chosen you for a time such as this. I am counting on you to do what I have destined you to do in me, in him, in Christ, for my glory, for your glory, for the glory of this nation, in my name, and for my name's sake. Soro Ramaphosa, my hand shall come upon you for there have been those that have gone before you that did not hearken unto my word, that did not listen. But you shall not be one that shall not listen. 
For I shall even cause these words that are spoken this night to reach your ears. And you shall listen carefully and you shall know that obedience is required. And a great reward shall be released because of your obedience. If you choose to hear my voice, do not harden your heart as in the rebellion in the wilderness. And I will take you in this nation into the promise that I've given it. And I shall cause great change and a great shaking to come to Africa, even through you. But you need to draw close to me, son. Draw close to me and do not run from my presence. Do not turn your back on the power of my spirit. Do not forget your roots despite the circumstances within which you found yourself. Remember, my son, I taught you to pray. I taught you to trust me in the difficult times. It's time to trust me again. It's time to seek me and search with me with all of your heart. And you will find me that I'm not far from you. And you will discover my will my purpose. And even though there shall be a moment of sorrow, even though there shall be a moment of sadness, I will take you and I will lead you into the paths of righteousness. And I will take you in this nation if you will listen to me. I will take you in this nation to my promises for the hour and bring you to the place of my desire for your life. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray for Cyril Ramaphosa. Sorrow. I take the name of Sorrow and I put it in this prophecy. And I bring and release a dividing line between sorrow and sorrow in Jesus Christ's name. And everybody said, Amen. Come on, let's give Jesus praise. Amen.